Escuela Nacional de Música. Welcome to the National School. Uh, my name is Lisa Hodson. I'm from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan in Canada. Um, I am here with Holy Cross High School, which is a large high school in Saskatoon, and I'm the principal of that high school. Uh, I think one of the things that uh, has been really, really great about this trip is uh, the variety of experiences our students have had. Um, the, I know that just in speaking with the students um, throughout the week, uh, going to the schools and performing for the schools and having the schools students and then perform for them they really really enjoyed that experience the interaction with the students seeing a school in Cuba um, and then uh, they also got to learn some dancing and um, so they've had a good variety of different musical experiences um, I one of the highlights uh, as an educator and watching what our, what our students get out, got out of um, this experience was working with the conductor. So um, on one of our first nights here, uh, our band students had a guest conductor that came in and worked with them and it, she was absolutely fantastic, high energy, our students learned a lot. Uh, that was a wonderful experience and then as well as our choir students had the opportunity to work with the choir director and uh, just brought them to a whole other level. Uh, that experience I know our students really got a lot out of and as an educator watching the students um, get that experience was very rewarding. My name is Mike, I'm from Canada, Saskatchewan. Uh, I live in Saskatoon and I go to Holy Cross High School and I'm here on a band trip for, um, for my school and we're just here to <laughs> experience the culture in Cuba. I think I improved um, as a musician just by like watching the other kids in high school. Like I went to the bathroom and I saw, um, I saw a guy tuning his trumpet in the bathroom, which was like like that's a lot of dedication that I saw from the kids here which is really inspiring I guess and also they played like they didn't use a lot of sheet music like they just played kind of whatever they felt and they went with whatever rhythm somebody else gave them and it was really on the spot and so I think I want to try more of that when I get back home and um, the styles here were really cool and they were like kind of more different and they were more fun I think than some of the like orchestral stuff we play in um, like at Holy Cross, that's cool, so. My name is Julia and I'm from Saskatoon and I'm here on a band trip with my class. Um, during this trip I really liked meeting all the like locals from here and getting to know them a lot better and like I like made some friends with some of them and I also enjoyed I enjoyed the rhythm classes where we got to play all those new instruments because at my home my dad is really into music so it was nice getting to like know some different instruments and I really enjoyed the dance classes that we have because it's totally different dancing than what we have at home in Saskatoon. I think that this experience in Cuba has helped me improve as a musician because since we played so many different instruments, it really helped me to like figure out how different cultures 
like playing their music and how they like they have different rhythms that we use than here so it really helped me to like so I'll be able to play different pieces so like because at in Saskatoon we were playing different pieces such as Cuban pieces and it really helped me to like play these a lot better because I knew many of the other rhythms that they used. My name is Anna Sophia Moran. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Canada, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and I'm here for a choir and band trip with my school. Um, I think it definitely helped me improve in being more confident when I do my performances because it just, you can tell from the Cuban artists that they're very excited to perform what they have been working on and to show everyone what they love to do and you can just tell how much they love what they're doing and it's definitely gonna stick with me when I go back home I'll try to show that same thing to people who watch me sing um, I think that people back home in Canada should definitely come here because like I said before just it's so different the group of people that are in this country and they're just a lot more not welcoming, but just a lot more excited and outgoing, I think, in general. And there's a lot of culture and art that you can learn and lots of interesting history that you can learn when you come here. And I just think it would be a very good experience for anyone who's looking for something very exciting and fun and something to get them out of their box and push them out of their comfort zone. My name is Jana McGonigal and I'm a teacher from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan in Canada and I'm here in Cuba to, with my students, my high school students who are music students and we're performing and, and uh, enjoying the culture of Cuba. Um, yes, our band, our music curriculum, um, we are a performance-based class so we work towards performances and I think um, this would definitely support that curriculum back home. Um, I've been on lots of music tours and I can honestly say this is one of the best ones I've been on. The pace is much slower and less frantic. You will have a good time and learn a lot and experience a great deal of positive, positive things. I think it's just been an amazing experience and one our students won't forget for a long time. So, gracias. I'm James Owens, I'm from Holy Cross High School in Saskatoon and I'm on the senior band tour from Saskatoon in Havana and we're going all across Cuba experiencing the country and playing in front of other schools and communities and it's been a really great time being able to see everybody and enjoy the country. Uh, one of the biggest highlights that we've had is when we performed at all the schools. It was great being able to perform a song that we didn't think the students would know but then they started to sing along and all of us started to we all felt like rock stars and then when the kids performed for us it was amazing being able to see all the kids showing their gifts and being able to show us what they have to offer and what they have to prove for themselves and show how good they can be at what they do. I would definitely recommend this for anyone back home. It's been a great experience being able to see everything here and have so much great support from all of our friends and great help from the tour guides and being able to see 
everything that the country has to offer. It's it's a really great experience, and it'll really really change your point of view of who you are and who your friends are and everything that's here. I think you, like if you're given the opportunity to come to Cuba for um, for like an arts and music trip, I think you definitely it's a good it's a good idea because it's just it's a, like it's a completely different experience than anything else you'd see back at home. And even listening to the music like on your phone or something is is not the same as seeing it being played because like you think that it's all recorded on your phone and like they just they have a bunch of takes, but like the people here really have music and like. They just know what to play, and they like they just feel it through. So it's really, really cool. Um, I can definitely recommend this program to all the kids back home. I wish that everyone in our band would have come and got to experience this because it was a really awesome thing to be a part of. Okay, so make sure to give this video a like and make sure to show your family and friends so that they can know why it's a good idea to come to Cuba and see how fun it is here. My name is Jesse, and I'm here with my school. And I'm here in Cuba because I wanted to experience uh, part of a culture that is completely different to Canada. And I just want to learn about music here and how everyone is like here. I would definitely recommend this program. Um, not only do you have amazing tour guides that walk you through the whole city, but you also get to be with people that like you and they will support you and you'll have fun with and you'll meet amazing friends here. I've already met like a few. I just want to say that thank you guys for having us here. It was an amazing experience and I would gladly do it all over again if I could. You want to say one to try and you will know. The first is 1964. It's been changing. Because it's always been that youth and that energy of youth. Okay, let's give it up for Mr. Paul.